Hi guys, welcome to the Global Makeup Academy. My name's Nicola. I'm gonna show you what's in my professional makeup kit. So this is really exciting. Um, when I first started makeup uh, 16 years ago, I left college with a very small makeup kit. So this may look overwhelming to you. But I've been a makeup artist for 16 years, so my kit has evolved over the years. Um, I actually used to start off with a very basic kit and I used to carry around little sample pots of foundation. And over the months, I'd just build my kit up and add more foundations and various different products to it. So today is all about me showing you what's inside my kit and some of my favourite products to use and some of the things that I just can't live without. So I'm going to talk to you about skin prep first of all and what I've got in my skincare bag. So I love Dermalogica, I've used these products for years. Active Moist is a product that I probably use every day. It's oil free so it doesn't build up, it's not too heavy. If you need something a little bit more hydrating then I love the Skin Smoothing Cream by Dermalogica. This is also great to use on more mature skins. It's also really important to have some oil-free moisturizers for those oily skins. I have the oil-free MAC foundation by Dermalogica again. I also have Paula's Choice. This is a great product to use if your clients are oily through the T-zone. This just helps to absorb oil. So obviously I do have a lot of moisturizers in my kit, but you can just start off by having a few simple moisturizers that work with lots of different skin types. As I said, the Active Moist is great for most skin types. So I love to use primers as a base for makeup. One of my all-time favorites is the Becca Shimmer in Skin Perfectors. So I have Moonstone and Opal at the minute, which I'm loving. So they just give the skin a really beautiful lip from within glow. Another great product in their range is the First Light primer which is a purpley base colour so this is great for anyone that has any redness or anyone's skin that's looking a little bit dull. Uh, you can just use this underneath the moisturiser and it just gives the skin a little bit more life. I then also carry in my kit a creamy face mask so the Dermalogica Skin Hydrating Mask is a really good one just to give the skin a bit of prep before you moisturise. So we can't be talking skincare without having a little bit of sunscreen. This is by Ultraviolet. This is Queen Screen, bit of a mouthful. But this is a lightweight sunscreen. It's like a serum-based sunscreen. So you can just use a little drop underneath your moisturizer and it gives the skin a really beautiful glow as well. So this is light, it's easy to apply and it's not gonna affect your makeup and it's not gonna give you any bounce back with flash photography, which is very important. Another thing that's really important to have in your kit is some exfoliators for prepping the skin. So I really just only use two in my kit. I use the Dermalogica Daily Resurfaces and I also use the Murad Facial Resurfacing Pads. So these just get rid of any dry skin and I pretty much do this with every single person I do because you don't want to put that foundation on and it catch to any dry skin. You'll end up taking it off anyway. So always prep the skin properly. And the other thing I will show you that I have is I always carry around some sheet masks as well. So I just have a, a range of different sheet masks which we can prep the skin, obviously, if you have time to do that. I also have a lip one and some under eye masks as well. And they're just good to have in your kit for a treat for your client. The other thing that I've added to my kit recently is a facial roller. This is by Long Vital. And this is great for lymphatic drainage. So again, you can just use this on your client's skin, making sure that it's sanitized first. And this just helps to reduce puffiness and it just feels really nice on the skin. And again, is a nice treat for your clients. Obviously, lip prepping is very important. We always need to prep the lips. This is my Ride or Die. This is the eight hour cream by Elizabeth Arden. I have used this for 16 years. It's amazing and you can use it on any areas of dry skin around the nose if you need to prep the nose as well. And one last thing is the a little bit of eye cream. This is a multivitamin power fan by Dermalogica and this just gives a really beautiful base for anyone that has any fine lines. It just helps to fill in the gaps as well. So that's an essential part of my kit. Okay, moving on to foundation. I do like to keep my foundations in the original bottles. I know some makeup artists like to decant. I just have always preferred to keep them in their original containers. But my favorites at the moment are the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. These are just beautiful. Um, I have four different shades at the moment of this, but you can just use a couple of different shades and then mix depending on your client's skin type. So these give you a really beautiful finish for bridal. I also love to use these in editorial as well. I find they're really long wearing. I also have 
the Becca 24 hour ultimate coverage foundation. So I have one in light and then one in a tanned as well. So these are really great for those clients that want that full coverage. It also lasts all day. I'm also obsessed with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Foundations. They come in an array of colours for all different skin tones, which I love. So I have four colours in my kit. I'll just tell you what they are. So I have 190, 385, 450 and 480. And I find that you can mix any skin type or any tone with these colours. And they're nice and lightweight as well. And then I also have the Hourglass Illusion. So I have beige and shell. These are great for mature skins. They're also great for a really dewy finish. They're nice and hydrating. They're almost like a tinted moisturizer. So it's good to have something that's nice and light and sheer in your kit. And then following on with the sheer foundations, I have two backstage Dior foundations. These are the face and body. Now this is my newest edition and these are incredible. So these give you a really sheer finish, but they're also semi matte So you get a little bit of longevity with them and I just love them. And another favorite for bridal is the Stilla Stay All Day foundations. These come in a little pump and I just love these for bridal. They give a really beautiful finish and I find that they work really well on most skin tones. Okay, so concealers. I'm a little bit obsessed with concealers. I, I just love to use them. I find that you can even do a whole foundation using concealers. So this is my little concealer bag. This is a My Kitco bag and I have an array of different concealers in here. I've just added the Pat McGrath Labs. This is a beautiful full coverage matte concealer. So it's great for anyone with oily skins. I've also got the Fenty Beauties. These again come in such an array of colors and tones for every single skin tone. So I'll just tell you a couple of colors that I've got. So I have the 160, the 220, 385, 470 and 440. So these are just great mix to have in your kit. And again, you can blend these to any skin tones. Even just having two of them in your kit, a light and a dark one would be perfect to start with. I also have a couple of the Laura Mercier's Flawless Fusion. These are brilliant for mature skins. I just have two colors. I have the 3N and the 1N, so these are for more lighter skin tones, but these are super, super creamy, so anyone that has dry skin, these are just great on. And then I also have my MAC Full Coverage Palette, which is actually um, a foundation palette, but I use it as concealer. I also like to use a fluffy brush with this concealer and just buff over the skin and it just gives that beautiful, flawless airbrush finish. They're quite waxy, so you can actually build up the product really easily, so great for concealing blemishes as well. So now the exciting stuff, what eyeshadows do I use? Um, recent additions to my kit have been the Natasha Denona's. These are just stunning eyeshadows. They're so creamy, they have amazing color payoff, the texture is just incredible you know that you're gonna get a beautiful blend with these products. They are a little bit more on the higher end, so it is an investment. Um, I took a long time deciding whether to buy this Bieber palette, but oh my gosh, it's so divine. And you can do a light eyeshadow look, you can do something really smoky, you can use the blacks as eyeliner. They're just such a versatile palette. And even if you just had one of these in your kit when you're starting out, you can create so many different looks with one of these palettes. So another brand that I absolutely love is Mecca Max. So these are incredible quality, but a little bit more friendlier on the purse. This is the Dream Queen eyeshadow palette and it has an incredible array of shimmers, light and dark. You can use these pinky colors as blushes. So it's such a versatile palette and really handy to have when you're just starting out. Another one of my favorites is the Born This Way Natural Nudes. So obviously we're seeing a rise of the nudie eyes and everyone wants that gorgeous bronzed eye. So this palette is also a great one to have uh, in your kit. So another great high street brand is Zoeva. This is the Coco Blend palette. Um, beautiful finishes, really nice and creamy. And it's just a good staple to have in your kit when you're starting out. So moving on now to blushes. One of my favorite products to use is cream 
blusher. I love the Stila colour convertibles. I've used these for years. They blend so beautifully on the skin and they just melt into the skin and give you that gorgeous, fresh, natural glow. So another new product that's come into the market following on with the cream blushes is the Nudie Sticks by Nude Sticks. These are beautiful. They're so creamy and hydrating on the skin. There is a couple of glossy ones and also a matte one as well, which I love. So they do a range of all different skin tones and types. And you can mix those again to create the perfect colour for your model's skin. Another creamy product that I absolutely love is the Fenty Beauty Matchsticks. These are great for contouring and highlighting. I have Espresso, which is great for deeper skin tones, and you can use that to contour, and it just creates a beautiful dimension on the skin. And they also have these beautiful creamy highlighting sticks as well. So this is cinnamon, and that just gives a really warm highlight for darker skin tones as well. And moving on to eyeshadow bases. So my favourite eyeshadow bases to use at the moment, which you'll see me using a lot in this course, is the Smudge Proof Tinted Base by NARS. So I have light, medium, medium dark and dark. So I have every skin type and I just use these pretty much in every makeup that I do now. I just love the finish. I have two mascaras in my kit. The one that you'll see me using all the time in this course is the Kevin Aquan curling mascara. This baby does not budge. It doesn't smudge, it doesn't transfer. And I have used hundreds and hundreds of mascaras over the years and I find that this one just is incredible. So it's perfect for bridal, so they're not gonna get any transfer underneath the eyes. The other one that I have in my kit is Benefit Roller Lash. So I just use this on editorial shoots if I know that I need to change the makeup. So this removed very easily. Okay, let's talk brows. So one of my favorite things to use is the Anastasia Dip Brow. These are super long wearing. These are a cult product. You've probably all heard of these. And they come in a range of different colors. I have top, medium brown, and I also have ebony. These are perfect for bridal makeup. They last all day and they don't smudge. You know that the brow is not going anywhere with those on. I also have a range of pens and crayons as well. So I have billion dollar brows. I have these amazing ones from Mecca Max, which again are really affordable and they just give a really good colour payoff. I also have a couple of brow pens as well, the Anastasia Beverly Heels, this is in medium dark. I also have a Suku and one from Mac in cork, which I also like to use to do little freckles. These just need to be sanitised with alcohol if you're going to use them directly onto the skin. I also have my trusty brow gel. This is from a UK brand called Collection. So it's a drugstore product and I find it's just the best eyebrow gel. It just keeps those bad boys brushed up and fluffy. And then tools, I have eyelash curlers, Shuramera, I find are the best ones. They also have a little mini one as well, so they're good for getting the outer corners of the lashes. I then have obviously tweezers and little mini scissors for lashes. The best tweezers are the Rubis ones. I find they're great for tweezing brows. Finishing the makeup obviously is a really important step. I'll just show you a couple of products that I love to finish the makeup with. This is my powder bag. So I have Laura Mercier translucent powder. I have the Shuramera one. I love that for more tan skins. I have the Hourglass Ambient Light Bronzers. These are just such a beautiful finish. And my latest addition to my bronzer collection is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. This is beautiful to use on the eyes as well. It helps give you that monochromatic finish. And yeah, that's everything I have in my powders. Moving on now to lips. So one of the things that a lot of makeup artists do is decant their own lipsticks into palettes. This is a view set palette and I've just added all my favorite lippies in there. I use this mainly for editorial because you can mix the colors in and create a more bespoke lip. But I do have some glosses and liquid lipsticks that I love to use as well. So this is my lippy bag of tricks. Lots of liquid lipsticks and high shine glosses. Some of my favorites are the Pat McGraths. These have an incredible range of colors to suit all skin tones. I also have a couple of bougie ones. The Tom Ford lip lacquers are just stunning. So I like to use these for bridal. They have a great longevity. I've got a couple of different shades. Softcore is a cult favorite. That just gives you a really nice bronzy finish. 
And then some of the other brands that I've got are Fenty Beauty, obviously do beautiful lip glosses. I have some clear glosses, which are from Shiseido. These can be used over the top of any lipstick just to create that high shine gloss. So I also have a couple of lip stains. So when you're using a red lips, you need to make sure that you have a lipstick that's gonna last. So I find that the uh, lip, liquid lipsticks by NARS are perfect for red lickies. And then I just have a range of other high shine glosses. I've got some Becca and I've got some Stiller. But yeah, you'll see me use quite a lot of these in the course, so get excited about that. So lip liners and eyeliners, I have in these cute little packs. So I just got these online. They're actually pencil case holders and they hold all my lip liners. I've got, I'll show you what I've got. I've got some Pat McGrath again. These are just such beautiful lip liners to have. They're so creamy and they just glide on. I have some Stilla. I have some Smashbox, some Charlotte Tilbury. I've also just added some Natasha Denona ones. So I'm excited to show you these in some of their upcoming videos. These are also super, super creamy and great for mature lips as well because they just glide on. And a couple of high street brands I've got are the Kikos. These I actually got in the UK um, and these are just such a great brand, really good value for money. So if you're over in the UK or even Italy, then you can grab some of those. And okay, so this is the eyes and I've just created some little labels with my label maker and so that way I know what's what. So eyeliners, I have liquid liners, I have some Charlotte Tilbury, I also have Kiko. Kiko is a really great brand to use for eyes as well. Mecca Max and these are my liners. Next up is lashes. Okay, so I like to use a mix of strip and individuals. The strip lashes, Model Rock, do beautiful lashes. I find that the bands are super thin and they're just really comfy to wear. Generally, I have just quite natural lashes, but you can obviously get some a little bit more dramatic or you can layer them, they layer really well. I also have the individuals by Model Rock. I have knotted and knot free, so it just depends on what you like to use. So the short ones are great for any thinning lashes, your more mature clients. They're also great to use on the inner corner of the eye. I have medium and then I also have long, so you can create a tailor-made lash. I'll just quickly show you also my disposables. So in the little box here, I just got this from uh, Bunnings that we have in Australia. You can get them from any sort of Home Depot. So I have my disposable ones. Uh, these are from Model Rock. I also have the little mini ones, which I'm obsessed with. They're great for getting right to the base of the lash. They're also great to use underneath. I then also have my tiny little Muji cotton buds. These are great for precision work. And then I have a mix of just normal cotton buds and the beauty cotton buds as well that you can get with slightly pointed edge. I do also have some super, super fine cotton tips from My Kit Co. I have my mini and my small, and these are super pointed eye cotton buds for precision work, so perfect for around the lips or if you need to get in any tiny detail, they're essential when doing a red lip. The other thing that I like to stock in my kit are these uh, cotton buds that are actually pre-wrapped. So if anybody needs to get inside of their eye, they can use one of these and you know that they're completely sterile. So these I got from Daiso and they're just super handy to have in your kit and really essential for keeping clean. I also have in my disposable, just going back to that, is just some disposable lip brushes as well which you can use directly onto the lip. So one of the things I like to do for my brides is give them a little touch-up kit. So in their touch-up kit I just put a few things. In the bag I've created a little touch-up kit. So I have a little spoolie for brushing up brows. I also have a disposable lip stick and then a couple of little cotton buds. I also have in there a toothpick which is really handy and they can just use that if they need to and I'll also pop their lipstick or some cream blush or something in a little pot for them and you can also pop in a tissue or a blot paper as well and that's just a little extra service that you can give to your brides and just makes you that little bit more memorable. Okay so that's just a little insight into my professional kit. In the next video I'm going to show you how to keep it all clean and how to work hygienically and safely.